Hey there fellow Minecrafters, welcome back to the Draki series here, this is Jason and welcome to another Minecraft command block tutorial video. I'm going to hopefully show you something pretty useful within this video and it's something that I thought of the other day and I was thinking well is this possible in Minecraft and it is actually doable. And I'm in Minecraft 1.19.2 and I'm on the Java edition at the moment. And basically, I'm going to be showing you guys how to detect if a player has an empty inventory. That is right. So how to detect if a player has an empty inventory. So essentially, we're not checking if, you know, a player has a particular item. But as you can see, I'm using this detector right here, using only two command blocks in order to get this to work. And as you will see, because I've got this diamond in here, it, the detector is currently not active. But as soon as I get rid of all of my items, you will see that the detector is now active. That is right. So that is what this detector actually is. And as you will see, if I put any random items in here, you will see that it turns off. But as soon as I get rid of those items, um, you will see that the light comes back on as you can see. So that's what I'm going to be showing you within this video. And what we're going to be doing here is I'm going to be walking through and then I'm going to show you in a text editor the two commands that you, you, you need in order to get this to work. So um, the first things first, you're going to need a command block. So in order to do that, you need to do slash give your name and then Minecraft colon command underscore block and that will give you a command block okay and within these two command blocks right here we are using two command blocks like this so they are pointing into each other and the first one is going to be a repeat command block and always active and this one is a chain command block and always active like so so what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to try and explain what these commands are actually doing so that we can kind of go through it together. And where are the signs? The signs are here. There we go. So this first command block right here is uh, going to um, remove any lamp on detector okay so that is the first command block we're going to remove any lamp on detector and this second one right here we're going to detect if player has no inventory items okay now how this actually works is as you will be able to see in a moment here um the the first command block is basically placing air at this position where the detector actually is. And the reason why we're doing that is so that um, you can actually get the detector to work with an on and off state. So um, what ends up happening is the first command block removes the any lamp or any block that's actually here. And then the second one places a lamp in this position right here if it is actually true. Now, if there is inventory items for the player, so therefore they don't have an empty inventory, what will happen is the first command block will then remove the lamp, but then this command block will not replace the lamp. So that is how it actually works. And if I remove it right here, you will see that this is a, an infinite lamp. So that's how this detector actually works. And one thing to bear in mind as well is that you can actually do lots of other things with this. So I'm just placing a redstone lamp for simplicity's sake, but you know, you could place down a block, you could run another command, you could place a redstone block and power some other circuit. There's a lots of stuff that you can actually do with this. So now we're going to go into the text editor so that I can explain what the commands are actually doing. All right, everyone, we're now in the text editor right here and we're going to be doing the two commands. So the first command is really simple. This is just removing the lamp that's on the detector if it's actually there. And all we're actually doing with this is we're doing a set block command and we're going to be using relative coordinates in my case 
and we're going to do Minecraft colon air like so, okay? And these relative coordinates here are correct for me. So basically at the block position where the lamp is going to be, I'm going to be placing air. So depending on your circumstance, you're going to want to do something different. It depends where you actually place your detector. But in my case, these relative coordinates right here actually work. So I'm going minus one in the X direction and one block up in order to actually do that. So that is the first command, really simple. Now the next one is the important one. This is actually checking if a player has no items in their inventory. They are completely empty. So in order to do that, we're going to do a slash execute command if entity. So we're checking a particular entity. And in this case, we're doing at P, which means the nearest player. So we're now going to do NBT equals because we're going to be checking a particular tag or data tag of the player. And what we're going to actually be checking here in these uh, curly brackets right here is we're going to be checking inventory, the inventory collection of the player. And we need to actually, in some way, we need to actually say, um, how can we actually check if it's empty? Now, there's a really simple way of doing that. All you need to do is just provide an empty collection like that. If you do some square brackets like that, with nothing inside for the inventory, that is checking an empty inventory using the syntax of the command. So it is as simple as that. That is actually using the right selector when we're actually selecting the player and checking the data. So now what we need to do is we have to set um, a redstone lamp um, above the command block because of the detector. So in order to do that, we need to do run set block and then using relative coordinates here, we're going to do tilde one as the middle one to say one block up. And then what we then need to do is we then need to do Minecraft colon redstone lamp. And then we're going to do lit equals true to make sure it's a lit redstone lamp. This is actually going to spawn for the detector. And that is it. It's a pretty simple command. But the main thing, of course, is knowing that you can actually do this. You can actually check for an empty collection or an array of items using this method. All right, everyone, that's about it for this tutorial video. Hopefully you found this useful and it kind of helps you in this particular case. It's actually simpler than you might think. Some people might think that you have to check every inventory slot to make sure it's empty. Well, you do not need to do that. All you need to do is just check if the collection is empty. That's a really important point. But if you did find this video useful and you enjoyed, then a like and subscribe on the video would be very much appreciated. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you stay notified of any future videos. I also have my Twitter that's on screen right now or in the description. So that's at Draki Series on Twitter. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. I'm hoping to reach 20,000 subscribers as my next goal. So if you could help me achieve that, then that'd be absolutely amazing. I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.